what's up, bro? What's up? What's up? I'm happy to be here. Hey. Yeah, we're happy to have you, man. And uh, I know Stuttgart is happy to have you as well. Where are you at right now? <laughs> I'm in Hamburg right now. Okay. Okay. Um, for me, why? man, the first question. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Why? Because <laughs> I because I live here and I travel uh, a lot. That's why you know I'm trained in Hamburg, and then I just you know travel to Munich. Still, yeah. Hey, Hamburg is just true. dropping the ball. True. How do you how do you not get recruit a guy who lives in your city? Hmm. How did Stuttgart get you? Yeah, that's the thing, man. Did, did Hamburg come after you? Yeah, they did. And you know, we all know that we have to check out and see what is the best possibilities and where you know where you can grow and a lot of other things and. You know, Jordan Newman was on me. If I tell you, and I love him as a coach, and I know him, and I played against back then, Schwebeschau. And, you know, we had a great conversation. Even the team, the dynamics, the defense. Hey, I was like, you know what? Leave, let me give him a shot. And, yep. um, but the way I like to call it as well is uh, different, <laughs> yeah. flashy, you know. And yeah, that's uh, that's my answer to the question. <laughs> hey, Chris, I'm I'm with you right there. And I actually like what you just said. I played linebacker in that defense for those coaches, and it is a phenomenal experience, man. They're gonna set you up for success. Obviously, all of your natural talent, you'll be playing with really sharp defensive coaches, man. So I think you're gonna have a crazy year. Um, but I, I do wonder why is it that you are playing linebacker and not running back. Did you have desire to play running back? Was that your decision? Was that the surges? That's uh, that's pretty funny. So before I went to the international pathway program, right, in the NFL, there was a coach, uh, Aiden Dirt. He is a coach with the Dallas Cowboys now. And he was like, Chris, I love you as a linebacker, but there are too many people that play and like you that have your speed and you wouldn't be special. That's why they told me play fullback and the running back position so you can, you know, show your speed and show your physicality. But my heart, I am a defender by heart, if I tell you. But I'll play, I'll play offense a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Chris, I love to hear that. I know Silas is is heartbroken right now hearing that, but <laughs> over here, I'm happy to hear that you're a defensive player at heart, man. <laughs> uh. Well, you know, exciting, at, man. At hey, day, tell me, tell me, sorry, tell me quickly about your experience playing in the NFL and the pathway program. So um, it was pretty, pretty crazy because back then the NFL wasn't that big in Germany and, in, you know, it grew internationally and it was crazy to get to an organization that is so physical and has, has such a great name to it. I mean, <laughs> the AFC North is a crazy division, by the way. And uh, you had you we played against teams, Steelers, Bengals, you know, and it, the Browns. And just seeing all these guys in real life was such a, so unreal. I mean, practicing every day. I was at the practice squad and just getting to know how the guys prepared to practice with them to see how different the physicality is from Europe yeah. to America I mean I'm a big dude but there were people that were way bigger than me and that <laughs> yeah. was big shock yeah, yeah man I mean that's an amazing experience that you got to have and like kind of polishing up your game as well and to be able to bring that skill set and that experience back to Europe, back to the ELF and, mm -hmm. and to the surge. We got a little uh, shit talk in the chat, actually. From, hey, uh, by, the way, by the way, I got to say one more thing. Yeah, yeah. I can punt crazy. I uh, can punt and we are punt. <laughs> and there hey, we go. Let's go let Chris, Chris for punter. Come on, Jordan. If, if, he's, an, he's an import punter. You spend, <laughs> that, you spend that East spot really wisely. Uh, yeah, Sven is saying, what does Sven say? Chris didn't sign with the Ryan Fire because he's scared to go one-on-one -on -one in practice <laughs> against me. <laughs> what do you have to say about that? Uh, okay. Hey, Glenn, I appreciate you. You know what? At the end of the day, I think it's better to see each other on the field. Because you know that's where we can be more physical. There hey, you go. We need we need to get a show with my man Chris Glenn and uh, <laughs> who we who we just have Evans. <laughs> oh, we yeah, need those three. We need those three on a show just talking football. I would watch that. 
that's a good <laughs> dynamic right there. That's a great dynamic. So, Chris, what are your expectations for the surge? Obviously, they were one of the top teams last year, made it to the championship game. What are you thinking about this year with the surge, and what are your expectations? So, for me personally, um, there's not much to say because – we saw how the search ended this season. And I know all of the guys, they have like this fire still burning and that hurt. And, you know, when you lose their championship. And I think me going to that franchise, what I want to do is I want to like get that fire, you know, put a little bit more gasoline into the fire, get them hyped a little bit more and play f- football on the best level that we can. Because I think it's the focus should be more us getting together as a team and having building a great team chemistry and see what happens from there. Cause I don't like to say, yeah, we got win the championship, whatever. Now we're going to play the best football we ever played. And we see what happens after that. Man. Wow. wow. I, love, I love that, man. And I, wow. I just tell right now, man, you are, um, we've never met in person, but just from this interview, I can tell that you are the, exact type of player that those guys at the surge uh, look for and you're going to fit in perfectly with that team and hopefully push them over the edge man yeah Jeez. yeah it's gonna be an ex- exciting year yeah what you just said is is a, the key to success that's the absolute key to success nick saban talks about that actually he doesn't he tells his guys we don't we don't even look at the other team we don't look at the scoreboard we compete against ourselves from yesterday Did, were we the best that we were today that's that's how they he even grades the games. He doesn't even grade them based off them winning or losing. He grades them if they win, it's did we but but did we play to our our best? And if we lose, it's the same question. Did we play to our best? And so Chris, Chris, you're gonna make a a, a great coach one day if you want to be one. Um, but until then, we're excited to see you as a player. Absolutely, man. Hey, I appreciate the Kind of words. Um, I'm just, you know, for me, it was itching in my fingers to get back on the field. You know, a lot of times I was in London, watch my guys, the Ravens, they played. And I was like, somehow I, I'm not done yet. You know, like Marcus, yeah. Pee, when he said, Marcus, Pee, he said, we ain't done yet. And I was like, and I felt the same way because I think it's not only the talent. I mean, it's just more than that. It's just my experience that I can give. And they love the game so much. And I'm a physical guy. So in that oh, yeah. regular life, in this regular world, I wouldn't even know what to do with all my reality. Uh, what is in part of me, you know? <laughs> so you heard. <laughs> oh, no. It's a good thing you got football, man. You <laughs> heard it. You heard it here first. The ELF is keeping people out of jail. There you go. <laughs> Chris, man. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, but... We all know football players, they're a little bit different up here. Yeah, yeah that's it's right. true. It's true. And that's that's why you're playing linebacker, bro. That's why you're playing on the defensive side this year. Chris, thank you so much for joining us on the show, man. Awesome interview. I, I know you, that everyone's just thrilled, both on the Stugar Surge and then just league-wide, to have you back and being a part of this league um, and helping, helping grow football in Europe. Thanks for joining us on the show, man. Thank you, guys. Have a good one. And thank you, Chris. Bye-bye.